How's it going guys? Welcome back to Kindergarten 2. I feel like I've learned so much. I feel all grown up. I'm gonna give myself this zitty face because I, I feel like I earned it, I guess. <laughs> Spoiled dress. Or the germaphobe stripes. I don't want to be a straight up hall monitor. I ain't no narc. But hey, these same old stripes feeling a little bit so last Tuesday. Which would technically still be this Tuesday, but that's fine. I just figure why the hell not, I'll, I'll change up change up my look a little bit for an episode. So first things first, oh no no no, I, I don't want to start immediately because I want to take the pin with me and I'm going to use that to talk to Felix. I'm really, I like, I really really like the mission map thing, that was a very strong addition in this game. Alright, I told you Teddy, the plan is foolproof, just do exactly what I told you and I know it's just, I don't know Felix, the whole thing seems wrong, Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. It'll be fine. Quit being such a... Ahem. Uh, how long have you been standing and listening to our little chat? Look, look at this. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I didn't realize that you were a man of status. Apology accepted. Grovel more next time, though. You must be a new student. My name is Felix Huxley, heir to the Applesoft Empire. Oh, I forgot that that's, like, from their company. And I'm Ted. Ugh. Must you always be like this, Teddy? Sorry, Felix. I just thought I should- Enough! My word, Teddy. You really are out of line today. Say, anyone with that pin must be trustworthy. Teddy, I think we should let this fine fellow in on our little plan. But- But I don't think it's a good idea. Ozzy's- Just shut up! If you won't help me, I'm sure this fine fellow will. What do you need? Give this document to Ozzy. It's imperative that he reads it and understands it. Got it? And, uh, what does it say? Oh, or it's, uh, it's a secret. Just give it to him and make sure he reads it. Good. Meet me in the smart class after it's done. We have much to discuss. And um, is the document just gonna say, like, I'll pay you 30 bucks to murder- Oh, look, we got our matching shirts now. To murder my brother. I can't believe it. It's not fair. I feel like wants you to read this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll there, new kid. I'm not taking anything from you. Your hands are filthy. So, you won't take it. Not until your hands are clean. Get out of here, you filthy animal. Weird. Weird request. Can I dip my hands in your wet looking mop? Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I could use a quick mopping. Are you blind? Look at this place. Oh, wait. What? Uh, did I give this guy a voice before? Are you blind? Look at this place. That other no-name janitor over there really let this place go to crap! You don't even know his name yet? Oh, that sounds like Tale of Two Janitor's business. Yep. Bye, then. Hi, my name's Penny. My mommy is the principal. Ah, uh, no wonder you're so awful. You must be one of the new kids. It's so nice to meet you. Don't bother meeting her. I like that you can just remove yourself from that. Do you want to be friends? I'd love to be friends. Here, you can have this friendship bracelet. Sure, I'm still, I'm just figuring things out right now, so why not? It looks so good on you. I'm glad we're friends. I'll see you around. Do you want a friendship bracelet? Damn it. I'm Carla. Do you have any contraband on you? Strange question. Well, these are some strange times. I'm just trying to save you some study hall. No one gets in or out of here without anything dangerous. They have a metal detector? Yeah, and her name is Penny. That blonde girl's the biggest snitch in school, and she has a knack for knowing who's carrying stuff. How does she know? No idea. It's unwise to bring in anything in these walls unless there's a special way of getting it in. I was, I got the gist of that across. Can you get stuff in? Well, if you wanted to get past the living metal detector over there, I can offer you my services for a small fee. What do you want smuggled in? I uh, can't be that hard to smuggle things in. Oh, really, new kid? Here's a firecracker. I'll owe you a favor if you get it in undetected. Deal. Ha! This ought to be good. See you in study hall, new kid. You have a lot to learn. We'll see about that. I'm gonna give it to the handicapped kid. <laughs> He'll be able to just bring it straight in, right? Oh, hand sanitizer is totally what I'm here for. Well, I, I'll buy that for two bucks. 
He won't- it doesn't seem like he'll actually buy anything in the morning. I- I was kind of trying to see if that would be the case. Because it- to me, that would be the funniest way to sneak the firecracker in. Suck on that. I got paid for your firecracker, and now you owe me a favor. Yeah, ha having to talk to Monty about that had occurred to me, but then I got distracted hitting up these other characters. This is a bottle of hand sanitizer. Kills 99% of germs, last 0.1% probably lives on nugget. Yes, two bucks. It always is. If you use the sanitizer, that's better. Let me see that thing. Ugh, typical Felix. He knows I can't read. Come on, kid. Let's find someone who can read this for me. I guess you are just in kindergarten. I was about to criticize, but that's a failure of our public institutions. Can you read? Yeah, I mean, I could if I could get these tears out of my eyes. Never mind, dude. Bugs? Do you think bugs would read? What? No, reading's for those nerds in the smart class. I guess we could technically ask the janitor. <laughs> the only reading I do is obituaries. Is that what you want me to read for you? No. Then I ain't interested in reading it. Mmm, probably don't want to ask Penny. This new school is much more my style. I thought we were together, we're gonna run that by here. Sorry, hun, but we're yesterday's news. Besides, we both know I'm too good for you anyways. Wow, throwing out an ouch takes up an apple, that's kind of funny. I mean, presumably the teacher can read, but I'll ask Carla first. Psh, yeah, I can read. What's it to you? We need you to read something. Carla is pretty much down for anything as long as you're willing to give something back. Unless it's required reading, I'm not interested. Ah, shit, that's like the first time she really shot me down on that. Come on, kid, you know I can. You also know it'll cost you. Do we have a deal? Oh, come on, why so much? How about because I saw you talking to money bags over there? That and my medical bills are expensive. We have a deal? I can get the money. No. I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm going to get that much money. Friendly? How about reading? Ah, uh, still not a thing. Nugget? Uh, he's not going to help me out. Ted? Do you just want to you just want to throw throw out an offer? Penny, I guess. Oh, I just love reading. Books, manuals, schematics, anything. Hey, uh, don't worry about it, Penny. I can read it just fine. Okay, then. Oh, it seems like he's got a crush, maybe. I don't want to get involved. I just want you guys to read things. I was hoping the teachers would want to further my education. Apparently not. I don't know where in the shit I'm going to get you money, Monty. This seems like a thing that isn't going to happen today, you know? Do you know what? Ouch. Here's a tissue. Cry me a river. Now will you help me get a new boyfriend? I have better things to do. See, now he's gone. Uh, but maybe I advanced something in some way that'll help me in a future the next scenario in some way i don't know what good the tissue would do for anybody oh i can tell other characters other teachers about nugget <laughs> i'd join him if i wasn't about to go to war with that other janitor over there and i'm not talking to you dr danner maybe help in some way maybe uh then no teach what's up does he have any pills on him? I don't think so, but he can stay down there. One less kid for me to worry about today. The principal is like the only one who will help with that, actually. I can get you the money. I had to restart because I had to try something else I Monty had left. Fine, go take from the rich kid. I'll stick around so you can get it. Just hurry up. Hey, he isn't rolling away now. That's part of why I wasn't sure how I would make this work, but there, he's, he's agreed to stay. Well? Does he understand what he's supposed to do? I need to borrow money? Fine, here, take it. But he better understand the plan, got it? Guy really dishes out, doesn't he? So, where's my money? You want to read this thing or not? Pleasure doing business with you. It says, act extremely vulnerable. Mention frequently how if something bad happens to you, it would ruin your mom's company. This, I, I guess my character doesn't read either, or else I would have just been able to do it. Okay, I guess I can do that. Don't know why he wants me to, but I'm happy to take his money. Good to hear. That's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. I'm curious to think of how I'm going to carry on the story here now. 
Do I have to go find Hel uh, Felix to like talk with him and, and keep this story moving? I better talk to Ted first and Ozzy, see what's going on. Hey kid, I'm coming around to Felix's plan. Ozzy's been mentioning how vulnerable his mom's company is. I think Felix is on to something. Mm, so he's doing all of this debate, Ted. I mean, Cain and Abel is a famous storyline where I think Abel kills Cain, Cain kills Abel, now I forget which is which. But uh, that's great, that's great, Ted. So pretty obvious that's what's happening if we wouldn't already have known from that previous storyline. Gosh, it sure would be bad for my mom's company if anything bad happened to me today. I hope nothing bad happens. You're doing great, Ozzy. Now are we supposed to do something bad to him at all? Bugs, you don't want to go beat up Ozzy or something? That that would like go a long ways to help me. I should steal the fidget spinner just to see what kind of chaos ensues. I wonder, I just want to know what Nuggle, Nugget will do if he doesn't have his spinner to play with. There are no toys left for poor Nugget! This makes Nugget sad. Okay, I thought he was gonna run around and cause havoc and like legit cause a bunch of trouble or something Well in that case, what's up? No toys. No arm. Nugget is having a very bad day at the school. I I have a toy for you. Nugget appreciates the generosity. Nugget will reciprocate with a monster mon card. Ooh, I'm getting pretty damn full. I'm, I'm at nine maybe? Oh, uh, I had less than I thought. I'm only at eight. The Zen Octopus deals two damage. Block purple one. Capable of doing yoga better than any other being in existence. <laughs> mm, and that's actually my first uh, first yellow card. I guess at the very least I get that card, but I have no idea what else to do with my time right now. I'm gonna leave to go use the washroom? For what purpose? I do not know currently. Stupid lock! I can't get into the weapons closet! You mean the janitor's closet? Same thing! Stupid new school! Won't even let me get the weapons I need! I guess I'll just leave you to, to keep grumbling. I don't think I'm gonna have a way to get allowed. This guy, passbook, not a chance, not happening. Bathroom's my only access point. I, I had to go back because I don't know what to do in that classroom. I've been kind of clicking around on different things. I might be able to get into the smart class. I've never started a day in the smart class, but I know it exists because that's where like Felix is and I probably want to be in the room with Felix and I can't seem to find a way up to him otherwise. So I, I'm not below average. Oh really? Perhaps you're willing to prove it. Uh, this is all just the whole thing with the flowers. No, I don't, I don't want to do the flower thing. That's not... Hmm. Or do I have to initiate that? Did I, did I start in the smart class the other day when I said that that was the case? How do I already forget that? Fine. Deal. I will bring you the collection. No, but then he wanted me... He wanted me to go bring that to him at his science lab thing. Like, if I would just advance time to, to go to the end of, of this morning thing before the first class starts, I don't think my assigned class changes. Yeah, see, I'm still in the same class. No, something I, I'm fundamentally missing and misunderstanding here. The whole point, the whole reason, is not that... It's not that it just unlocked the hint or whatever by completing these two. It's that I specifically need the two items provided by these two quests to do this one. So I can prove that I'm in the smart class. So I can start the day in a class. Because you can select up to three items. Start the day in a class with Felix. With the A plus in hand, go to smart class. There we go. That's what I was missing. Welcome to the advanced class. If you're here, you've proven to be smarter than the other slugs you call peers. Please try to use this time constructively. Einstein was building gamma rays in kindergarten. So should you. Yeah, well, Bruce Banner turned into the Pope. So there. <laughs> Remember to fill your daily assignment on the computer. Plus, if you take it, you get a school-mandated prize because you can't have learning without incentive anymore. What a world. No matter what, I should maybe do that in order to obtain, like, what's probably a Monstermon card or something. I guess I have to talk to Felix anyways. Ah, good. I was hoping I would see you here. I take it Ozzy knows his part in the plan. He does. Excellent. I suppose you'd like to learn what the plan actually is. Be helpful. Before I do that, I need you to sign this contract. It's a basic non-disclosure. You can't tell anyone about any of this. Especially Teddy. Sign my life away. Why the hell not? 
You see, my father's company is very large and very important. Teddy and I are the heirs to his commercial empire. You want to be the sole heir. Exactly. Teddy is too naive to run a business. He must be taken care of. You want to kill him? Heavens no. I need your assistance setting everything up. Ozzy's already doing his part. What's his part exactly? Ozzy's mother has recently begun a startup company that directly competes with our company. So why not just kill Ozzy? That's what Teddy thinks we're doing. He wasn't on board with the plan, but Ozzy is going to drop a few hints that should persuade Teddy to strike now. So, what do you need me to do? Do you see that jar of spiders on the top shelf over there? Oh god. I could just go collect those ones from the bathroom, maybe. A jar seems more contained, more safe, more controllable. Uh-huh. We're gonna need them. Bring them to me before the bell rings. I'd like to know why you've led me this far along. Might as well. Because Teddy, like most people, hates spiders. We need them. Get them. Now. Ah, uh, there's a vent that's connected from the girls' bathroom. I had Carla jam it up before class, so Bob should have a ladder against it now. Hey, someone took initiative on their own. I didn't have to do that. What about Bob? He's easy enough to distract. Cause a janitorial emergency. That should keep him busy. Fair enough. Hey, what gives? This is just a box of cleaning supplies. I thought we were getting prizes. The school mandates that I give out prizes. It doesn't mandate that they have to be good prizes, so I just grabbed something out of the janitor's closet. What a total ripoff. Ooh, maybe I can use this. Maybe I can, like, toilet paper or something to cause a janitorial emergency or chuck it in, like, a drain to clog something. That seems pretty legit. Carla, you doing your, your morning assignment? I'm going next on the computer. It'll keep me on Danner's good side. Now nah, I'm on the good side. Can't you see the way the light reflects off that chromium dome of his? This is his good side. I can take an assignment, do it. Do I actually have to do it? Is it gonna be like a mini game? Thank you for taking your assignment. Please take your pick of the cleaning sp I mean, prizes. Toilet paper. I want the toilet paper. There you go, enjoy your prize. Now go do some smart child things. Completely unguided. You guys just have free reign, apparently. Hurry up with those spiders. I will do. Am I so smart that I'm allowed to just like walk out of class? If you must leave, it would be nice to be asked first. May I leave? I'm not falling for that bullshit of can I? Yes, that's quite alright. Just be back before the bell rings. I can do. He's pretty chill about that, actually. I imagine you don't care if I just slip on in here while no one's paying attention. I am not comfortable using the stalls in the girls' room, but I am comfortable with clogging them. I'm going to do one further away just to be safe. I doubt that has real a real bearing. Got it! Woohoo! Boy, that sure tired out my arms. I'll close it back up in a second. <laughs> I'm just going to go stand over here with this mop. Do some nice mop stretches. Janet, janitor-sizing. Custodicizing. Custodia-sizing. You know? My arms are tired after messing with that vent. I'll get back to it in a moment. Uh, toilet's clogged. Don't worry about the fact that I'm a boy in here. Don't move past it. Oh, dear. I suppose it takes priority over this. Thanks for letting me know. I better go get a plunger for them from the closet. Please don't kill me. Kill you? Of course not. I'm just going to have to go get a plunger from the utility closet. I'll be right back. Yeah, we kind of have some, like, post-traumatic service staff disorder, post-traumatic staff disorder, something along those lines. Something where we're absolutely terrified of janitors, and it's no real fault of yours, it's just your profession kind of leads to that, I guess. Jar of spiders, Felix said he wanted, don't know, know why fully. We'll take him. <laughs> and I guess I technically made it back to class. I hope you all learned something today. Please go- How did you get up? You know what? Never mind. Get down and get out of my class. Yeah. I'm okay with that, man. Not a problem. Hmm. Guess I have to initiate this myself. I, I'm used to people running up to me at lunch. Felix's plans are so good. Can't wait to see it come to fruition. Me too, Ted. Can't tell if you're kiss-assing or if you're legit, like, into this. The way that you weren't in that first storyline. Ah, right on cue. Teddy already picked up lunch for you. I take it you were able to get the item I requested? Yeah. Excellent. Oh, and I got my burger. But, let's not let Teddy see it. See what? What is it? Let me see it, Felix. 
Ugh, <clears throat> uh, Ted. Why, weren't you just telling me something about Ozzy? Something important? Oh yeah, I heard Ozzy mention that if something were to happen to him today, that his mom's company would be finished. I think you were right, Felix. So, you're on board with our little plan then, Teddy? I think so. But you have to let me help. I want to show Father how capable I am. Oh, don't worry, Teddy. <laughs> you have the most important part. Anyway, for the next part of the plan, we need someone to dig us a hole. And know anyone who would help? I... Oh, Nugget! Nugget! Yeah! Excellent! Lead the way! Nugget, we need a new cave from you, dude. Nugget is getting quite woozy. Nugget misses his arm. We need you to dig a hole. One arm. No arms. Doesn't matter to me. Use your feet. Use your teeth. Nugget would like to dig a hole, but Nugget is missing his shovel and his arm. Ah, arm. If I were able to provide you with those things, would you dig a hole with for us? What's in it for Nugget? An arm and a shovel, dude. You say Nugget a lot. Um, what if I took you to my family's uh, Nugget factory? Nugget, Nugget, Nugget factory! Oh dear. Nugget will happily dig a hole for a trip to the Nugget Factory. Bring Nugget a shovel and an arm. Nugget will dig a hole as fast as lightning and deep as hell. Oh god, he might legitimately do that just based on how this game works. He might meet the devil. That would be a fun costume to dress up as. Right, well, we can get a shovel in the janitor's closet. I'm not sure what we can do about your arm, but maybe we can cover that at recess. Nugget eagerly awaits your return. Well... I admire his enthusiasm. I anticipated the shovel, but not the arm. So what now? Talk to Carla. She has a key to the janitor's closet for you. Go get the shovel while I figure out what to do about the arm. I like teaming up with this guy. He does half the shit on his own. It's much appreciated. Nice change of pace. Also take the passbook, you'll need it to get out of here. Hey new kid, how are you liking the food? Whatever, small talk, blah blah blah. Felix says you had something for me. <laughs> Lighten up, new kid. I got you. Here's the key to the closet. Have a party. Wow. She relinquished that very uh, immediately. I never would have guessed. Oh, that's like the food, the pantry thing that she has to access. All right, get out of my way, Stevie. I got a passbook. Monitoring emergency. I was not expect. I didn't read any of that. No, kids allowed and the teacher's allowed. Go finish your lunch, kid. Right. This is... I'm just trying to access the incorrect door. Now I should be fine. I uh, I bought a burger. I'm fine. Here's the passbook. It's fine. Now I should be all set. And the janitor's closet is upstairs. Oh no, in the men's uh, bathroom here. Yes, there we go. Uh, last time this was filled with a lot of messed up shit. Still, kind of the case. This is a janitor's cleaning cart. It looks like there's a Monster Man card in the waste bag. Take it! We got a bucket of water! And I think... Am I am I still totally wrong about this? Are we still one shy? Still one shy. Deal two damage plus two if the last discarded card is blue. Reduce Monster Mon damage by one. Any Monster Mon devolves into a regular bucket when he tips over. Magical. Fucking chainsaw and a shovel. Uh, don't do anything just yet because I want to look at his medieval weaponry. These weapons are way too big for me to carry. The axe looks like it's been used recently. I want to know. Oh, and a giant vat of acid. It's great. This vat is giving off some dizzying fumes. It's hooked up to a tube that seems to be running to the cafeteria. Oh god, is it going to or from? Anyway, so easily distracted. I hope the janitor doesn't come in here. Oh, the this janitor will. Bob. Hey, what the? The kids aren't supposed to be in here. There's lots of sharp objects and bad chemicals and blood. There's blood on the floor there. Did you cut yourself? Are you okay? I should say, oh no, I need help and try and get some pity here. Not my blood. But, but whose blood is it then? It would have to be... No, it doesn't make any sense. Something isn't right. I, I kind of hope that Bob is like a secret maniac and that he's go he's got like a split personality going around killing people and not even knowing. You okay there, Bob? I'm fine. I'm just having trouble remembering what happened yesterday. Why is this here? What happened? I don't know, dude. Don't worry about it. That's the bell. Why don't you head out to recess? I think it's best if I figure this out by myself. 
You you seem like you got a lot to ponder. Well, I'll I'll leave you to it. Were you successful? Yes, were you? No need to be snippy. I've identified a potential donor. The trick is collecting the uh the goods. Ah, so who's the mark? The little wheelchair boy. He won't put up much of a fight. How do I get his arm? And then how are we surgically going to attach that shit? I spoke with him at lunch about a very lucrative business deal. We've already been, like, buying everything from him this morning. Guy's kind of greedy. It's the only language he knows. So what? So when I give the signal, he'll meet me inside to sign the papers. He'll be all alone. It'll be the perfect time to strike. Got it. Excellent. Just give the word and I'll send the signal. Be sure to have your passbook ready so you can get inside. I guess I need another one. You mean you don't have one? Ah, oh, that's right, you're new. Maybe someone threw one away? Check inside the dumpster. I'll see what I can find. I guess if that's the only real direction I have to go off of, I will check with the dumpster hag. Bang on the dumpster, see what's going on. <laughs> Who's banging on my dumpster? Oh, hello, child. So good to have a visitor. Say, you wouldn't happen to have any food on you? I, you can have this burger, actually. Oh, look at her going, eyes going up, up and down like that. Oh, a burger. It's got a smoky flavor to it. It reminds me of my cat. Smoky. Do you want him? Got anything else? Ah, uh, you don't want my cat. That's too bad. Let me see if there's something else in here. Oh, here we go. One of them passbooks you kids use. Thanks for the food. No problem. Bye-bye. That was uh, the simplest exchange that's ever taken place in this game. <laughs> I don't recall ever receiving anything so easily. Should I try to climb? I guess, sure, but I assume you're gonna fail miserably. Wow, that, okay, no, 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 I, I'm doing this. I, yeah, try, try again, that sucked. Again, what if I go a little bit to the right? Oh, there, I think there might actually be a way to do this. Shit, this is going well, damn it. Starts out right, then up, then kind of angling across, angled up to the right, up again, dang, so close. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go up and down a little bit, then uh, maybe maybe zigzagging around like that doesn't really help anything. Grab it, you're right there, damn you. Over and up again. Oh, this is gonna be it, come on, come on, come on. Grab it, grab it, you dingus. Grab it! There, holy shit. Castle of sand, that was painful. Deal three damage plus two damage if you have less HP. Reflect a red monster mon. Built on the beach during low tide, it refuses to die when the water came in. Achievement, ready to battle, I have the full deck of ten. Now let me the hell down from here, I don't care if it's a quick fall or what have you. Oh goodness, still looking dude. No wait, no, that's not true, I'm ready. <laughs> it's time! Hey, he's inside, don't keep him waiting. Alright, here I go. I need to use the bathroom. Yes. Oh my god. Hold it right there, kid. Not a step closer. I know what you're about to try. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, please. Felix is a good businessman, but I've got I've been doing this a lot longer than he has. You can tell him. Oh, please use a cool badass like one-liner, like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger one-liner. Hey, what's going on over here? Only one student's allowed to pass through at a time. Oh, shut up, Hall Nerd. We're talking business here. As I was saying, you can tell him. What of you has to go back outside right now? I mean it. <sighs> okay, how about this then? I thought he was gonna. I thought, I thought he might do that. <laughs> you shot my arm. My arm, it's gone. My arm. There's your arm, kid. You don't need mine anymore. You can tell Felix the price on the goods just doubled. See how he feels about that. Wow, pretty well equipped. Well, don't mind me, just here to grab some shit. My arm, it hurts. Mommy, it hurts. Uh, there, there. Nice, I got two hall pass setups. Plus, now I got cool hair Stevie's head to wear if I so choose. I think we're all set now. 
Did you get the arm? I thought I did. Oh, it really blew across the room. That's why I didn't see it. <laughs> this is Stevie's arm. It has blocked many children trespassing in the halls. I still didn't get Nugget these two things yet. Uh, uh, go, go to gym, please. Okay, Stevie. Hey, it's gonna be my first time in gym, actually. Oh, uh, my life is ruined. It can't actually get worse. So what are we doing here? Trying your best not to look like me in 30 years. Go run laps or balance that orange ball or something. I guess we can do that? I'm just gonna stand over there and try to keep the room from spinning. Wouldn't expect anything less or more, honestly. Come with me. Okay, dude. Seems like you got a plan. We're almost ready to make our move. Teddy, you know your job. I sure do, Felix. I won't let you down. We're gonna do this, and then you and father will find. Yes, 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 yes. Now get to it. We'll meet you at the playground. Hip hop. There. We're ready to move forward. What's uh, what's next? Go give the weirdo that arm. We need him to get started immediately. That makes sense. Do you have the arm for Nugget? Nugget would like an arm. There you go. Nugget likes this arm. Nugget's now ready to earn his trip to the Nugget factory. Good, get digging, dude. Nugget will dig, but teacher will not let Nugget leave. Teacher must be removed for Nugget to dig. I'll see what I can do it is a good point, honestly. I take it the weirdo received his arm. So, why hasn't he left yet? Of course. I suppose you'll have to get rid of Miss Jiggle Jugs over there. Jeez, dude. Five-year-olds shouldn't talk that way. There's a lot of things five-year-olds shouldn't do, but sexualizing their teachers is especially weird. My goodness, you ask a lot of questions. She looks quite tired. A good smack on the head might send her over the edge. Find a way to do that. I think maybe I just grab a quick dodgeball. Maybe you guys fighting over the ball there. Let go, I want to shoot some free throws. Get in line, new kid. The basketball is mine. Help Carla grab the ball. Perfect. Ugh. This comes booking it over. Okay, who did it? Who threw the ball? It was this Jerome kid. He tried to take the ball from me, and when I tried to get it back, he just threw it in your direction. What? That's a lie. The kid came over and helped her snatch it out of my hands. It went flying when they made me let go. Both of you shut up. What really happened? Carla is telling the truth. That's what I thought. Jerome, do you know how bad my head hurts right now? Not more than the waistband on these shorts, I'm guessing. Okay, now I'm mad. How? Hey, stop! Screw this, I'm out of here! Come back here! This is making me feel better! We didn't knock her out, but we did get to chase her out of the room. Good work, kid. Appreciate the help. You think fast on your feet. I don't think I did much. I just yoinked a ball. Nugget will dig! Nugget will dig for the nuggets! Have fun with that, dude. Godspeed. Carla's going back to shooting some hoops. Ah, she's decent. I want to wait and see if she actually scores one, though, if I if I leave her for a second. It was another miss, but it was a different animation. She's not just doing the exact same thing every time. I can't tell if it's, like, being uh, generated or if she's actually playing... Like, if she's actually playing or if this is a set looping animation. Uh, now she's pretty much making the same shot every time. No, I think there's actual physics and actual attempts. The ball seems to bounce around a little bit differently and actually end up in slightly different places. No. Oh, that was the exact... No, it rolled back further. Yeah, it is actually random. Maybe one day she'll score. It's not going so hot, though. Alright, dude. It's almost time to make our move. With the Nugget Weirdo digging the hole and Teddy supervising its development, we just need one more thing. We're gonna need something to rough him up a bit. Just something we can use for a good bludgeoning. Excellent. Bring it to the sand pit with where the grave is being dug. Oh god, I'll see you there. Bugs, you're good at bludgeoning. What do you have in mind? Only water? Wish they would let us have soda. Uh, I guess I could bludgeon with a dodgeball? Oh, I, I can also leave, so I guess I have opportunity to go cruise around and search for a bludgeon-worthy object. Oh man, I can go like anywhere. Holy shit. Uh, she may have went a step too far. Mind if I take this stick? Seems violent tendencies are a part of Miss Applegate's withdrawal symptoms. 
poor Jerome just witnessed it first firsthand. Can we talk to Miss Applegate? He was much faster than I thought. Worked up a sweat, smacking him around. You killed him. Yeah. Feel better and tired. No wonder the janitor like sitting you kids with stuff. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave you then. Bludgeoning stick it is. I did not expect at all that that was how I was gonna get that stick. Pretty, pretty easy overall, I would say. Not too shabby. Now we just have to head outside for recess? Is this the, the like, last part of the day? I think it might be, so I think I have to come meet him out here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm set. Right on schedule. Did you get what I requested? Oh, the teacher's pointing stick. Excellent choice. This will do splendidly. Well, Teddy, it's time. Okay, I'm ready. But where's Ozzy? Oh, poor, simple, stupid Teddy. This isn't a grave for Ozzy. No, no, no. It's for you. Wait. No, what? Felix, you can't. I did everything you said. And Applesoft thanks you for your service. Oh, what a sinister kid. Ah. <laughs> now for the spiders. What? Drop the spiders in the hole. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ, kid. Nugget, any take on this? Nugget dug! Nugget dug a whole nugget cave! Nugget has earned his trip to the nugget factory! I'm, I'm happy for you. Ted is at the bottom of the hole. Felix asked me to empty the jar of spiders onto him. He suffered enough. Nah, empty the jar. Ooh, now we got our cool suit to walk around in. Ah, uh, why? Felix, stop! They're in my hair! They're crawling all over me! Yes. Yes, that's kind of the point. Okay, weirdo. Time to fill in the hole. And then you take Nugget to the Nugget Factory. <sighs> yes, of course. Nugget will fill in the hole. Nugget will fill in the hole for Nuggets. Out of time. Whatever, just leave a crater. Right on schedule. Let's get to the schoolyard. I have something important to give you. I hope that hole just stays. I hope Nugget didn't get around to it either and that that hole just stays open for the rest of the game. That would be handy. Nugget did, did stay behind. He specifically didn't come. Well, the deed is done. I appreciate your assistance. I'm sure you'll be wanting your payment then. There you are. The finest semi-legal chemical in existence. What's it do? You know those pills from your old school? This is the key ingredient in making them. Please accept this Monstermon card as well. It's a treasure chest. But the real treasure is the friends we buried alive along the way. <laughs> I don't think that's the saying. Silence! Our business is complete. Good day to you, Hitman. Wait for Nuggets! Hey, how's it going, buddy? You do okay? Nugget is finished filling in the hole. Nugget will now take a trip to the Nugget Factory! Oh, yes. How could I forget? Uh, hey, weirdo. If there wasn't a Nugget Factory, that would be okay, right? Nugget would bury the rich boy and his rich brother. Right. Okay, then. Limo is this way, weirdo. I hope they make nuggets somewhere around here. Nugget has never been happier. I'm, I'm glad things worked out for you, dude. Truly, I am. Bunch of new monster mons. I wonder if that treasure is better than anything I have already. I don't really fully know how to appreciate that. It's coming along great. Looks like I have enough cards to make a full deck. It's neat to open up a uh, build a deck. If you have a full deck, you can challenge kids during recess. Nice, so I'm gonna double check on the treasure thing. Gain three mana if your last discarded guard card is blue. Block a purple monster mon. I have four greens. I can probably do without a green. These two are the same. Yeah, so one's getting switched out. We're getting the treasure chest artifact. No one knows what's inside, but it's heavy enough to do some damage when chucked at an opponent's head. That'll be fun to play around with, and I'll save it for next time. I'm very tired. There's going to be a noticeable gap with episodes now. I tried to get as many out as quickly as I could, but I'm going to be away for like the next like two weeks, which is unfortunate. Scheduled uploads through that time, just not kindergarten because I didn't have time to record more. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you're still interested when I get back. I'll see you again soon. One quick thing I'm going to check on. Uh, I'm still, I still have to do an, a numerous things now before I can start 
moving on to other other storylines. I basically have to do the Jamder one now. <laughs>